Uh, this Iron Moth is not going to appreciate this 40 base power move. It's a whole 40. A whole 40. <laughs> okay, we crit. I didn't actually think it would KO. There we go. Let me fix my camera. Jeez. Okay. This is going to be a little bit awkward because my controller is like on my lap because I can't lift it higher than that because it's charging. But um, with this team... With this team, I think, how much value do I get out of Captain EP? I get a lot of value out of Garganical if I tear a ghost, but I have to like deal with a few things. Let's do this. Hmm. Let's go with that. Do you see Spanish by any chance? Uh, necesito, yeah, sorry. Necesito practicar mi español, uh, pero uh, puedo hablar español y uh, puedo uh, aprender todo. When I was growing up, uh, my family like only spoke Spanish to me, and then as soon as I entered like in uh, preschool, they realized I didn't speak English, so they decided that it was probably a good idea for me to actually uh, learn English. And then I like wasn't spoken to in Spanish at all, which was a problem. What are the chances it's safety goggles? Don't know if you don't test. Soy de Chile, muchas gracias por tu, todos tus videos. Me ayudas uh, mucho a mujer en mi juego. Uh, ooh, hope you understood that. Yes, I'm glad I can help you improve your game and that you like the videos. Uh, don't you ever ooh woo in Spanish at me again. <laughs> if I get ooh wooed in Spanish again, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, um, here's a good way to test. Let's Volt Switch, and I'm actually going to go for Terra Water Rage Powder. That's how we'll test if it has goggles, because I'm not really willing to test it anymore. It might not have goggles, and it might just be going for Terra Grass here. No? Oh, twinsies. What language should we uwu in? Uh, I, I have no clue. I have no clue what language uwu is appropriate. The one advantage Spanish gives me in Pokemon is I know how to pronounce Quaquaval. All oh, you dudes calling it Quaquaval. What's wrong with you? Okay, yeah, that's actually we still don't know if it's if it's goggles. We still have no clue. You guys, want to see something funny? You guys, want to see something really funny. I'm going to go into my Garganical, and I'm going to Salt Cure this Garganical, and he's going to be very upset. He's going to cry. Oh no, I've been Salt Cured. What am I? No, no damage. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go for the Salt Cure and the Arcanine, actually, and Rage Powder once again. This is why Covert Cloak is just such a goaded item for Amoongus. It doesn't even have to deal with uh, Garganical on its own. It can just be the one redirecting it, and then you just beat it with everything else. Okay, good. There is audio on the game. I want to make sure about that. We draw the Arcanine. All right, what's getting salt cured? Iron Hands? Dude, I'll take it. I'll take it, dude. I don't even care. I don't even care. Give me that big damage. Give me that biggie damage. 
Beautiful. I love dealing damage to Iron Hands. I love switching in my own Iron Hands. Actually, let's go, uh, let's go Arcanine. Go for Protect here. Yeah, Salt Cure isn't a status. They're really thinking about this one. They're like, dang, that's Covert Cloak Amoongus. This one wasn't in the ancient texts. I don't know how, how to beat it. Silly Goose. Am I going to get Salt Cured here? That'd be annoying. Aw. Okay. Um, honestly, not that bad. They've already Terrored, so I can actually Spore and Will-O-Wisp pretty safely. And he's also taking damage. Yeah, if I if I can Spore this thing... Ah, do I Spore or do I Will-O-Wisp? Honestly... <clears throat> Honestly, this is my play. This is the goaded with the sauce play. This is the play that people who are goaded with the sauce would do. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, check this out. Connect the burn. Oh no. Oh no, that's not... That's like not what I wanted. Oh, that kind of sucks. Okay. Um, Little bit bad that that happened. Not gonna lie, not great that that happened. He is still taking a lot of damage, though. Let's go for another Will-O-Wisp, and I am going to hard switch in my uh, Iron Hands. Alright, I switched first, so that tells me they didn't actually switch their hands. Are you kidding me? Just connect the burn, dude! That's so annoying, dude. Just connect the burn! There's Fluttermane. Um... How do I deal with this? I'm already salt cured. I'm taking a lot of damage. I can't switch into anything. <sighs> Man. Yeah, like nothing switches in. Um. I'm kind of forced just to like send it. Okay, they protect. Cool. Uh, I'm Assault Vest. I can live a Moonblast, I'm pretty sure, as long as they're not, like, Life Orb. Yep. Cool. Getting rid of this thing, honestly, the best thing ever. As long as I connect the Snarl. Okay, yeah, I don't think you take this. I should just barely live, too. Nice. Yep, cool. Um, let's be careful with him now. <laughs> Remember, kids, if it's not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. This is very true. This is the most true thing anyone has ever said. Also, I accidentally took a screenshot. Can you go Iron Hands? That'd be very cool. Thank you! Thank you, sir. A true American hero right there. Uh, they should be faking out my Arcanine here.
They also protected Garganical last turn, but I'm more concerned with Iron Hands. Cool. Critical hit kind of sucks. Uh, I don't think it matters that much, though, because I'm getting out of there. I am once again going to attempt to burn this thing. Third time's the charm. It, it's gotta work this time. It just has to. Okay, cool. They didn't switch again, which means they should be going for a wild charge into my iron hands, which I might live. What is going on? <laughs> Am I facing Bright Powder Iron Hands? What is this? What kind of tomfoolery am I facing? There's no way they stay in, right? Yeah, there's no way they stay in. I'm gonna do this. You're going into your Arcanine. You are going into your Arcanine. Okay, that's fine. Crit probably didn't matter. Hippo, thank you so much. Don't care. I am clicking the Garganical button. All right. Salt Cure, Rage Powder. You do look taller on camera. You're one to talk, Beanie. I always thought you were like five foot eight at minimum. Okay, don't care. Okay, interesting. Not sure how that affects this. Oh, I just realized I'm not recording. That's so annoying. Which means I'm gonna have to download the VOD later. Alright. I will do it again. And I will also be... I'm just gonna Rage Powder again. Go ahead, go into Iron Hands. I've been trying to get rid of this thing for like 80 turns. Someone remind me to hit record after this battle is finished. Okay, that's too much to recover from. Let me think what's the best way of doing this.
Should be salt curing my Arcanine. Okay, cool. Gonna take more damage here. Oh! Interesting decision there, buddy! Interesting decision there! I'm fairly certain that I just go for Heat Wave now. And go, eh, no, I have to burn. And go right back into Garg. Yep. Nice. Get as much recovery as I can on this thing. That's fine. Cool. Arcanine can live a little bit, a little bit longer. I keep accidentally taking screenshots. Go Amoongus. Protect. It's just a matter of picking up a KO on either the Arcanine or the Iron Hands, which is basically unavoidable for, un unavoidable for them. Uh, in the next coming turns, because uh, as soon as I pick up a KO on either of them, I play for timer. I don't even have to, like, win the game. I just play for timer. And Yeah, protecting there was really bad for them, because that means they don't have any defensive play this turn, and I get the maximum usage out of my Amoongus. That does, like, nothing. They've been intimidated so many times. I always salt cure the Arcanine. This game would have been over so long ago because I could just make more aggressive plays if that uh, Iron Hands was burnt. But now I have to play the hard way. I have to miss three Will-O-Wisps. Three Will-O-Wisps. Snarl. Okay, sure. Literally two. Oh, nice crit. <laughs> I finally get some luck on my side. Are you Citrus Berry? Yep. Okay, cool. Doesn't matter anymore. Um, Iron Hands drops... I believe it drops to um, Salt Cure on the switch end. And I always beat their Garganical. And protecting doesn't help them at all. Three minutes until the battle ends. Ooh, <laughs> this is gonna be close. All right, they're gonna withdraw. That's game. I double protect next turn. I double protect next turn, and I win by HP. Yep, they drop in two turns. I just double protect to avoid them getting any recovery. Nice. Go for protect, go for protect. Two minutes to the battle ends, cool. It couldn't end much sooner. I would prefer that, actually. Maybe they're stalling here because they think they win. They don't. Two of their mons are like at almost no HP. Nice. 
Cool, that's game. A little bit of an annoying game, but a uh, game regardless. You guys want to see something funny? Oh, they forfeited. <laughs> okay. Well, good game to that person. Good game to that person. All right. Let me actually hit record now. If you guys are watching on YouTube and the video quality was bad, it's because this first battle was not recorded locally. Look! Look how the quality improved in that one second. Okay. Let's continue battling. What's my record? Seven and two, and I'm 6,000? <laughs> okay. And the Nene. A Nene has been received. Okay. Let's see. So... Um, this team is very weak to this lead, actually. Like, just nothing. Just nothing. So we'll do that. Um, I bring funny Minecraft rock in the back. I think it's quite good. And I go with, uh, Mr. Mr. Slap. Mr. <laughs> Not meat mittens, just... Steel Mittens. Yeah, like, their whole team loses to, um... Loses to, to my Amoongus. So what I actually do here is I double protect turn 1 to scout. Because I think they want to just go for, like, Acid Spray Moonblast. Oh. Are they not the right set? Psychic? Okay. That's concerning, um, but not terribly difficult to deal with. Oh, they're not booster energy. That's kind of lame. All right, Rage Powder. Snarl. Do I have to Terra Water? Can I do something different? No. Yeah, usually it's booster energy Iron Moth to outspeed like choice specs on the uh, Flutter main. Which is why I was kind of confused there. Hoggers. Oh, it's Life Orb, okay. I'm gonna eat both these hits up. All right, do you guys want to see something gangsta? Just hit him again. <laughs> They're going to double my Amoongus. Watch, it's basically mandatory this turn. All right. Got one of them right. They had to have doubled here. Told you. Told you, it was basically mandatory. Nice little crit on the flutter main as I find out I have a hangnail. Thank you. All right. Going into big garg. Big garg. It's amazing they made a stall Pokemon out of salt. It just seems appropriate. Hmm. 
I'm gonna take nothing here. Check it. Incredible. Okay. Um. Honestly, I could recover here. I'm kind of risking getting crit, but if I were to get crit this turn, I mean, like, it doesn't matter. Like, if I'm gonna get crit next turn, it, like, it, it, I just, I just do it. I just recover. You know. Either way, I'm gonna get, like, I'm risking a crit. Okay, cool. Iron Hands, don't particularly care. Flutterman protects. Um, I'm somewhat tempted to go for a burn into a Salt Cure on the Fluttermane slot. But like, burn on Iron Hands, Salt Cure, Fluttermane. It's a little bit risky. But I definitely don't drop to any double up, especially if I get the burn. Because nothing switches in, and especially if Iron Moth comes in, it just drops. Alright, let's see who they fake out. Something's getting salt cured here, and it's not gonna like it. It's Iron Moth. Okay, cool. Uh, I think they're gonna fake out my Arcanine. They don't fake out at all. Okay. Watch, they're gonna be ter <laughs> Terra Normal Facade. Maybe. Possibly. Lumberry? Perhaps. Belly Drum? Intuitively. Okay. Not None of the above. Uh, this Iron Moth is not gonna appreciate this 40 base power move. It's a whole 40. A whole 40. <laughs> okay, we crit. I didn't actually think it would KO. A whole 40%. Read him and weep. Okay. Fluttermain. Um, truth be told, I'm not terribly threatened by this at all. I'm just going to Salt Cure it and Snarl. I suppose I could have Heat Waved, it would have done the same thing, but this is just in case I, like, get crit, you know? Oh, they're Shadow Balling. Okay, cool. I think I live. I don't. But this doesn't- this doesn't take it! This is a whole 40 base power. Check it out. Ow, that actually did more than I thought. Keep this one. A whole 40. We have yet to get any residual damage this game. Both salt cures just KO'd. Okay. Interesting. A whole 40. Alright, let's get Iron Hands in. I'm pretty sure I just win here. Yeah, there's Breloom. Um, might be Cloak. They're usually just Sash, though. It's probably in my best interest just to Salt Cure Iron Hands to try to win the late game. And go for a fake out into Breloom. If it's Cloak, I probably lose. Or like Ghost or something weird. Oh no, they protect. Cool. Well, we know Drain Punch doesn't KO me. And this Iron Hands is now officially on a timer. Okay. Honestly, I, I just think smart pivoting wins me the game. One would imagine they basically have to target down my Garganical here with the Breloom. So I'm going to go Amoongus. And I'm going to go for a Drain Punch. Uh, 
Amoongus doesn't ever break Iron Hands here. Or not Amoongus. Uh, Breloom doesn't ever break Iron Hands. Yep. Cool. So that's basically game. Yeah. It's just a matter of taking out Breloom. So actually, I think my play here is going to be Protect and go right into Garg. I'm expecting like Bullet Seed. Cool. Yep, okay, nice. Let's get some regenerator on the Samungus. I can't Rage Powder away the Breloom hit, so I do this. And I go for the Protect. Because they should Wild Charge my Amoongus slot and go for like another uh, Mach Punch. And then next turn what I can do is expecting them to want to Protect the Breloom. I fake out their Iron Hands and go for a Recover and that basically wins the game. Oh, no, they just call me out. They just straight up call me out. That's fine though, um, they, they don't ever beat this. I just have to wake up. Yeah, it's just a matter of waking up and drain punching Balloon. I protected last turn, right? Just double tech Brillum. Nice. They double. All good. Very soon it'll turn into a Brillum 2v1. Because if I protect with my Amoongus this next turn, I believe Iron Hands drop the Cell Cure plus uh, Burn. Yeah, I do that. See if they drain punch my uh, iron hands. Uh, it gives them a little bit longer to live, but not too much longer. One more turn, and it's still basically unwinnable because they can't spore me and prevent me from waking up. Yeah. What was I saying? Spore me and prevent me from waking up. I was going to say, they can't, like, if I didn't wake up that turn, they can't spore me and avoid getting drain punched. They will eventually get drain punched, is what I meant to say. Okay, that's game. Nice. This is what I mean when I say I should have brought this team to Orlando Regionals. It's so much easier to pilot.